Well, Michiana saw a peak in COVID-19 hospitalizations in November, December and January, and now months and weeks later, some of those patients are still struggling to fully recover. Others are bouncing back OK, but with vivid memories of their difficult fight. Trisha Sloma has an update on a local musician who was nearly silenced by COVID-19. We first shared Jamie Bostell's story in November, over a month into his battle with COVID-19. Our story was shared across the country, but it all started with his Facebook Live video that went viral. I thought I'd tell you my story here. A heartfelt message straight from the ICU. I just wanted you people to see this is real. This is real. This ain't no hoax. This ain't no politics. It's real. Hard to believe someone so young and fit was fighting to live. Jamie Bostell was 49, a rock musician and local factory worker in good health. He didn't smoke and had no underlying health conditions. And yet, he could barely breathe. It was to let people know that I personally catch my breath. I'm sorry. After 22 days in the hospital, Jamie went home on oxygen. There was a time when I didn't even think I was going to get off the oxygen. It was really scary. Today, more than four months after he first contracted COVID, Jamie is almost back to normal. Do you still get winded? Yeah, a little bit, not not as bad as, I mean, it's week by week, you know. In addition to the daily oxygen, Jamie had physical therapy two times a week, but his best exercise <laughs> was motivated by music. Music's always been my therapy. Two weeks after getting home from the hospital, the music pulled him into his home studio. There we go. I had a track in here I needed to finish, and I was like, I'm gonna go see if I can do this. And it was tough. I was doing like, I was singing like one line at a time, but I did it. That inspired me to go, okay, I'm gonna be all right. And it was probably a month after I did that first track that uh, my guys from my band came over uh, and we started rehearsing again. The last year, I think, has been one of the most stressful years for any of us uh, to, that we've gone through in our lives. And uh, like every other part in my life, personally, music always carries you through, and that's what carried us through this. The members have praised the fallen, lifting Jamie and each other with music. I mean, as long as he's still breathing, we're still doing this. So, I mean, I, I don't, yeah, I was just pulling for him at that point. <laughs> Also pulling for him, his doctor. He's really on the way. He's still got some milestones to reach, but he's doing great. Dr. Justin Luger sees a number of COVID patients in the recovery phase. One of the things that really caught me off guard in taking care of patients after they came out of the hospital with COVID was just how many of them dealt with um, problems with uh, really severe anxieties. It seemed to me that it has come kind of as a result of feeling that that really almost fearsome sense of hypoxia, the, the sense of drowning while you're breathing. Yeah, I cried. I, I had breakdowns and that I was a mess because um, you feel like you're reaching to breathe. And they did give me medication. And uh, if anybody knows me out there, I'm very stubborn where I'm like, I didn't want to be on that, you know, but I listened to their advice. They told me to take it, so I took it. Just this month, Jamie started back full time at his factory job. He wears a mask at work and in public, and he's eager to get the vaccination. Most importantly, he remains positive. The virus that nearly killed him taught him a lesson. I don't wish this upon anybody, but at the same time, if you've been through what I've been through, you learn to be grateful and life is beautiful. 
Dr. Luger says we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg in terms of what the medical community is calling long COVID syndrome or long haulers, the COVID survivors who struggle with symptoms long after their diagnosis. The Cleveland Clinic says the most common lingering symptoms are fatigue, shortness of breath or cough. But patients can also have neurological symptoms like brain fog, depression, and insomnia. More severe cases indicate long-term damage to organs like the heart, lungs, and kidneys. If you're a recovering patient, please tell your doctor about any lingering symptoms. Jamie considers himself very lucky. For more information on his music and how you can see Praise the Fallen perform, go to our website and click on this story.